I feel great. I feel relieved that we're here on the red carpet about to share the film. A little nervous, but but not so much. I I'm excited to share the film and feel it with an audience on a nice, big, beautiful screen. You know, Stephen's uh, letting you into the way he sees the world in this film uh, in a way that I think is really beautiful and inspiring. How he realized this film, just the way he shoots the toy train set early in the film, which you'll see, it's astonishing. Uh, but yeah, it, the, the, our job is to capture the essence of something. So the essence of the emotion that that family was going through. Most of us have been there in some capacity, way, shape, or form with our own families, and it is big. So it's, uh, it's, it's big here and, and here. There was a lot of joy. It was always there, amongst a lot of other things. But it's just an incredible story, and, and I was just lucky to have a callback with Steven on the same Zoom. After that, I was like, I didn't need any more. But I got to do this, and now I'm here, so everything's amazing. You show up on sets, and there's cameras, and there's lights, and I have that feeling on any set I'm a part of, but watching Steven walk around and, and figure out his shot with the whole camera team behind him, because they don't storyboard or, or, or shot list, so... Yeah, there are hardly, there are not a lot of words to describe. There are, but not right now. <laughs> it means everything. I cannot believe I'm here. This all seems like a dream, like I'm reading a book and then I'm going to put it down and return back to my life. Like this is so surreal. I've, I mean, I've wanted to do this ever since I went to Universal Studios, went on the tram, started watching his movies, Steven's movies, you know, I just, I've, this is what I wanted to do and I'm so happy. I manifested it on previous red carpets and it's happening and I'm just so, I'm so thankful. I am playing Reggie Fableman. I, that is, the character is based off of Anne Spielberg, uh, his sister. She gave me her high school ring. It has her initials on it, uh, 1967. I'm, it's such an honor. She is so lovely and I, her and Steven are just so special. I, I adore them. As someone who has made home movies in my backyard since I got an iPad, you know, I mean, like, even being five years old, four years old, taking little videos and learning how to edit them together on iMovie, this means so much to me to be a part of not only a Steven Spielberg project, but this is just so, I could cry thinking about it. It's thrilling. I, it's a true, it's a surreal experience, and I'm trying to just take it all in and really appreciate it yeah it's funny my first shot of the film was uh like a night shot my call time was like 8 p.m and literally in the script it's like you know they walk out of a theater to their car it's like and and i show up and there's like a hundred cars from the 50s on set and like the entire block is dressed and there's a thousand extras and i was just like this is unlike, I've never seen anything like this. It truly was, and all the shot was, was just walking out of the theater to the car. And it really was like, I was like, oh, this is a big movie. It isn't like a small personal well, film. I mean, this is a big movie. personal film, yeah. Uh, which was great, it was uh, It was all the more fun. Not to put too fine a point on it, but as a Jewish filmmaker, there's few movies that are more up your alley than this one. <laughs> From the moment that Steven started talking about his mother and who she was and who she was to him, um, I, I, it felt like a, like an honor. Excited and nervous, you know. This is my first film festival with a uh, with an official entry. I I did, you know. I think in '82 uh, we debuted ET at Cannes, at Cannes, and then uh, we uh, the last Indiana Jones film was debuted at Cannes also. But as just as exhibitional screenings, this is the first time I've ever really entered one of my films into a legitimate. Film festival. <laughs> I've always found ways of putting, you know, my personal life and everything I've done, even, you know, Indiana Jones. <laughs> Believe it or not, there's pieces of me in in that, and pieces of me in everything I've really directed. But this was a very focused, intentional story of uh, coming of age, and I've never made a coming of age story before, or told one before, and I've never told one so close to my own experiences and so close to my own heart. Only the names were changed to protect the innocent. <laughs> the most challenging part was finding the cast 
that best represents my family. Mm -hmm. There's nothing more personal than that, right. than casting your own family. And uh, I, I, I didn't have to look very far. I felt in my heart for a long time that Michelle Williams was very representative of my experience uh, with my own mom. Well, everybody knows I don't see my movies with audiences rarely. I mean, it's so I'm going to just literally do my, my desk gesture. Excuse me. Jeffrey, my daughter said, I think it's, you take a deep breath for four seconds and hold it, then you let it out for eight seconds. I'll be doing a lot of that tonight. Four in, eight out.